most respected Prime Minister Sri Narendra Bhai Modi ji, Honorable Minister Sri Vaishnav ji, Honorable Minister of State Sri Chauhan ji, Secretary Telecom Sri Raja Raman ji, my good friends from industry Sunil and Kumar, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My hearty congratulations to DOT and COAI for organizing the sixth edition of the India Mobile Congress. I can wholeheartedly say today that as Indian telecom industry, what we have demonstrated, I feel very proud. And to both COAI and DOT, I can say that we are now ready to take leadership and the Indian Mobile Congress should now become the Asian Mobile Congress and the Global Mobile Congress. Today is also very special because it coincides with our national celebration of Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. Our beloved Prime Minister, Sri Narendra Bhai Modi ji, has shared an inspiring vision of making India a developed nation by 2047. Every policy and every action of the government is skillfully crafted to propel India towards that goal. The steps taken to fast track India's march into the 5G era provide a compelling proof of our Prime Minister's determination. This is most heartening because 5G is much more than the next generation of connectivity technology. To my mind, it is a foundational technology that unlocks the full potential of other 21st century technologies like artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, robotics, blockchain, and metaverse. In fact, I think of 5G as an acronym for five goals that fundamentally can transform our nation. First, 5G and 5G-enabled digital solutions can bring affordable and high-quality education and skill development within the reach of common Indians. This will help young Indians realize their full potential by arming them with world-class capabilities and competencies so that they can earn more and make India globally competitive. 5G can affordably deliver high-quality health care to rural and remote areas by turning existing hospitals into smart hospitals without much additional investment. This will make services of the best doctors digitally available anywhere in India, dramatically improve the speed and accuracy of diagnostics, and enable real-time clinical decision-making. All this will enhance health, wealth, and happiness of all Indians. Third, 5G can bridge the gap between urban and rural India by accelerating digitization and intelligent data management of agriculture services, trade, industry, the informal sector, transportation, and energy infrastructure. This will create huge efficiencies in all economic activities, making India a hub of innovation and also help us mitigate the climate crisis. Four, 5G can make available the same powerful productivity tools to small-scale industry and commercial enterprises as are used by large capital-intensive businesses. This will drive modernization and profitability of all sectors of India's economy. And fifth and final, by bringing artificial intelligence into every domain, 5G can power India's emergence as the world's intelligence capital. This will help India become a major exporter of high-value-added digital solutions and services. Achieving these five goals will trigger a huge explosion of entrepreneurship in our country, which in turn will attract even larger investments and create millions of new jobs for our young people. By harnessing the combined power of democracy of demography and digital technologies, India can become the world's leading digital society, 
setting a benchmark for simultaneously achieving the dual goals of acceleration of growth and inclusion in development. Acceleration of growth by making India a $40 trillion economy by 2047, up from $3 trillion today, and inclusion in development by increasing our per capita income rapidly to $20,000 from $2,000 per capita today. Therefore, it will not be an exaggeration to say that 5G is like a digital Kamdhenu, the heavenly cow that grants whatever we desire. Esteemed dignitaries, the rollout of 5G in India is not an ordinary event in India's telecom history. It carries the keen expectations and the high aspirations of 1.4 billion Indians. With 5G, India will take longer and faster strides towards Sabka Digital Saath or Sabka Digital Vikas. India may have started a little late, but I want to assure all of you, we will finish first by rolling out 5G services across the length and breadth of India. And as an industry, we will ensure that we have the highest quality and the most affordable rate that anyone else has in the world. Today, I want to reiterate Jio's commitment to deliver 5G to every town, every taluka, and every tehsil of our district by December of 2023. Most of Jio's 5G is developed in India and hence carries the stamp of Atmanirbhar Bharat. On this occasion, I would like to congratulate Honorable Sri Ashwini Vaishnavji and the Government of India for their efforts to strengthen BSNL. A strong BSNL will bring the balancing presence of a government entity in this very strategic sector. Most respected Pradhan Mantriji, before I conclude, I would like to express a deep-seated emotion of pride in my heart, a pride felt by every Indian. Your leadership has raised India's prestige, profile, and power globally like never before. In today's fast-changing world, there will be no stopping a resurgent India from soaring to the top, a place that is rightfully ours. India and Indians can't settle for anything less. All of us at the India Mobile Congress assure you that we will work together and walk together under your guidance towards the glorious future that awaits our nation. Thank you and a very happy Navratri to all of you and all my fellow Indians.